You won't die. But you'll wish you could. I always just want to sit here and watch her move around. It feels like home. I guess you forgot about me. Guess you forgot about me. That was for the thumbnail. <laughs> such a good mini game. All right, I didn't understand it at first, but basically all you need to know is when baby looks towards you, because at one point it'll look like she's gonna look at you, but she's actually just kind of gazing around the room. Like back in um, when she's at the left of the bed, if you're looking at the bed when she's on the left of it, she kind of looks around and it looks like she's gonna look at you, but she actually looks right past you. So all you gotta know is when she looks specifically at the closet. And then just keep your eye on the plush babies and whenever they start to go crazy um, and they're about to kill you, that's when you can open the door. It's really not that hard uh, once you get the hang of it. Meat bites. I... okay then. Alright, 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 alright. How close are you gonna be? Would you like to hear a funny fun fact? 
I guess. One of the previous development teams made a hilarious mistake, one that may or may not have resulted in an undesirable anomaly entering the game's code. Is it you? Please accept that statement as our full legal disclaimer and absolution of responsibility and potential harm to you. You know, <laughs> let's go with that. So next up, uh, Nightmare Threadbear. I totally forgot about him uh, in the last episode. But, um, yeah. Closed doors, flashlight, teleport, survive until six. So this is basic FNAF 4. We're going back to the roots, boys. Oh my god, he runs. So you can actually kind of hear him. Oh my god, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, no, no, no. Go, 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 go. Oh my god! Seems like he can just be anywhere. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. How am I supposed to know if he's in the closet if I can? I mean, I did hear him kind of walking in there, but... Why do I keep moving so much?
god. Oh, I didn't even realize that was five. I thought it was at least four. Okay, that video game really wasn't that bad. Um, he only appeared on the bed once. And all the other times, I'm still not centered. I don't know what it is. With, with these bedroom idiots, I always move around so much. I'm sorry. But it's basically just like FNAF 4. Actually, it is identical to FNAF 4, except he doesn't laugh when he's in the closet. Um, at least I don't think. Whenever I heard him, whenever it sounded like he was in the center of the room, like if I'm standing in the center, center and it sounded like his footsteps coming from there, I just went to the closet. I got the caterpillar! Oh, can I pull his yarn? No, he's not like Woody. There's a snake in my leg? Or a snake in my something. Anyways, is that it? That is normal mode for Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. Officially done. I still need to get loads more coins and tapes. But that is it for normal mode. Now, oh man, there's loads of dark rooms, loads of parts in service, bed repair, and night tales. So I feel like I'm gonna check tapes quickly. Should be at eight. Yep, he's not there. He should appear once we get out of here, maybe. No, all right. Just because I feel like this video may be a little bit short, I want to try and do night five of Five Nights at Freddy's one. In nightmare mode. Alright, oh, it's the same controls. Five nights at Freddy's. Right. I forgot just how creepy. Are they gonna be their nightmare versions? Ah. Uh, oh my god, it's the night five phone call. Uh, Alright, Foxy, 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 Foxy. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Ah. Oh, they're all in there. Alright, 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 alright. Right, right, right. Um. 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 Um, no. I didn't do that. I really didn't do that. Alright, Fox is out, isn't he? Yep. Let's get him out. Get him out. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I don't like how it's all black and white. Oh, okay, Chica's there, Chica's there. Close her off a little bit. Stop, 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 stop. Why was that happening? Why did that why did that happen? Still there? Uh, let's hope he's gone. Uh, he's not gone. He's not gone. Okay, well. No, 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 no. Oh my God, his eye was glowing. <laughs> All right, the sensor on my. Oh, wait. Why did it just kick me straight back in? Is that a coin? Uh, I gotta get Foxy. Ah, uh, that wasn't a coin. I don't like you. Yeah, the sensor on my thing is being a little bit weird once I get over to this light. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> oh, 
light. What light is on? Alright, but he's moving around. I really don't like this. I don't like when it makes the doors go all weird. Push that back in. is hard mode. Uh, uh. No, 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 close it. I don't like the jingle. Alright, he was done with his thing. Um, so I don't know why he killed me. What is that hooked up to? I feel like these pipes gotta mean something. We're getting uh, big, pretty close, pretty close. Why did I turn that on? Turn that off. Take your stupid cupcake and your stupid paper. I don't need any of that. I'm alone, man. Alright, the cupcake just uh, kind of came back to me. Sure. The real reason why I'm doing this and not saving it for the next episode is because, A, this episode's probably going to be very short because we only did two mini games. And because I want to get some lore. Uh, Stop, 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 stop. See? It's being weird. Stop, 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 stop. Why do I hear footsteps? Is that him? That's him. See, look, it's being, it won't like. Why did I do that? I didn't do that. Stop. Stop. Let's just, let's just get him over here. Might as well. Hi. I can't press it. Oh my god. This is gonna be the thing that kills me. Stop. 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 Still there. Yeah, I see him walking. Oh god, oh god. Alright, he's gone. He's gone. That's good. He just... He's, how am I at 36? Now that is annoying. Okay, you seen this crap? I can't pick you up. Oh. What was that? Does that just happen whenever the cupcake gets you? I feel a sudden urge to check the bunny. Alright, I'm good. Oh my god. I don't like 
this. Alright, I want to try the Wapeo minigame, because I feel like I could maybe do those. I don't really understand how they can make it that harder. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. It seems pretty out of First, tune. we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat heck? pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible uh, when removing uh, the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Are these just distractions? Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization oh. module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration. Why is this happening? Found it. Something is not right. One of those notes is press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Nice. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you that next time. Hard. Am I gonna get jump scared or, I, or do I get something? Oh my god, what? It's a scrap baby plush, really? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so what do I get for doing that? Oh, I just move on to the next- Oh! I feel like I could do this. I feel like I can do this. I can do all of them. But let me, um... Welcome back to Parts and uh, Service. Uh, there have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. What? Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Uh, Remove all food uh, particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Uh, Good job. No! Make sure Chica is not hiding any other uh, treats know, inside her beak. So to open her beak, carefully press the two buttons located on the sides of Chica's head. I remember this. Oh, no. Yeah. It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. You think? To Can you? You think? You really the think so? Entertainment restaurant grade chemi spray to Chica's exterior. Press the button under the. Avoid inhaling the chemi spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, ah, and you those? may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye oh irritation. God. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Bro, well, don't look at me. There we go. Hi, nice friend. Oh no, it looks like the chemi spray uh -oh. is no longer effective. To combat the infestation, pick them off by hand if not. Return the cupcakes to Chica's plate. What? Wait. Come here. Great job. Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. What about these guys? Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Delicious. See you next time. You guys are terrifying.
Alright, what do I get now? I get the Chica bobblehead! Oh, that's sweet. So now I've got the complete set of bobbleheads. Why am I so far back? I've got the complete set of bobbleheads. That's great. Alright, Freddy. I don't like the look of that. It looks like he has Freddles with him. And that's a big no-no. I remember this one. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh my god. One of our guests left a personal item on our star huh. attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Uh. Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. I can barely see. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it a good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, Freddy, let's what sure is wrong with you? Stuck inside. To access Freddy's so chest cavity, let's grab Freddy's watch. bow tie and pull it outwards. Bro, I can barely see Freddy's bow tie. Bow tie. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is what not is open. This? Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Go away. Ah. Good job. They turned into a Freddy. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. It's way up there. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Done. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Is this gonna turn into a Freddle as well? Well done. Nope. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity, and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. Ah. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. Oh my god. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. I can barely see that. That concludes there we go. our time awesome. at Parts and Service. Um, um, Your pay will be docked um, accordingly. Um. Oh my god, I don't like this. Oh, right, my prize. How could I forget? Oh my god, I can't pick that up. Are you kidding me? Give me that. Give. I just. I want to hold it. Well, I guess I'll just look at it. Oh my god, that is. That is awesome. I love that. Alright. Foxy time. Hello. This is the final one. Foxy. He, don't, he doesn't look too friendly. Oh my god. Old trigger. Yeah, yeah. I remember doing this mini game. It wasn't that. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh my Foxy god. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This uh, series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. This is... is this... First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. This is, um, Phantom Foxy, isn't it? Oh no. It looks like Oh Foxy's my god, that looks so good! Functioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses Bro, and exposed receptacles awesome. to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. You proud of that? A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. I got him. Oh no. It looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. I got you. Hey, it's kind of hanging out here. Well done. Ha. The remaining chest fuses two and are located four. in drawers number two and number four. That's one and one. Fix both fuses to continue. 
It's fine. I know from past experiences that this is draw two. So we're looking for a blue, red, and a blue. This. And I'm looking for a red, green, and a red. Here. Calm down a bit more. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully Come open, on. place the eye back into his eye socket. Fine, it's this one I know. Just gonna wait. Alright, so I got a little bit of downtime. Now. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Are you sure? It looks like he's still kind of freaking out. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So after this, we should get some lore. Not some regular Freddy Flushing. I have you. So now we should get some lore, because that was Nightmare Mode. Unless we don't. Or do we have to complete everything in Nightmare Mode? It looks like we're going to have to complete everything... Wait. Looks like you're gonna have to go to complete everything. I'm just gonna check around the place because I really don't feel safe right now. Alright, by the counter looks good. My phone just scared me. Um, let's check the tape area. Maybe we got a tape from there. Alright, he's getting close. Still only have eight. Um, I think that's it. Uh, my phone is going crazy. All right then, this looks like it's it. Nightmare mode is hard. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is save. Ah, uh, let me go back. Man, I always keep switching. I think I'm gonna stay safe now. One, two, three for the last few, because I think those are going to be the hardest one. I think in the next episode we'll try and do all the dark rooms. I'm not looking forward to the plush babies again. Or we can try and do vent repair. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, nightmare mode is definitely a nightmare. <laughs> and I unfortunately have to do it to get some lore, and now my phone is blowing up. But, that's it. Um, oh my god, my phone won't shut up. So, uh, Thank you everyone so much for watching. Get excited for the rest of Nightmare Mode. It's going to be super cool. Um, hopefully it's going to be cool and terrifying. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you all on the flip side. <laughs> Goodbye.